In this video, we're going to take a look at the SABI integration, or the System Arctic Business Intelligence Tool integration. And what this feature does is enable you to query the Enterprise Architecture Repository in a business intelligence tool, such as Microsoft Power BI, Tableau, Cognos BI, or other BI tools. In this video, we're going to take a look at Microsoft Power BI as an example. In general, an enterprise architecture enables you to understand what's going on in the organization and then also to strategize your future by asking the architecture questions. You can understand how good the answers are by seeing what's missing from the architecture, how old the information is, who did the work, etc. System Architect provides reporting mechanisms to ask the architecture questions and get answers. There's a built-in reporting engine a SQL-like reporting engine with a GUI. We provide many pre-built reports so you could build your own on the fly to ask the architecture questions to get output to HTML, to grid, to save to Excel, to save to PDF, etc. And you see that as number one here in this block diagram. Number two on this block diagram is the SA Publisher add-in. That enables you to group reports to generate a website a sophisticated website with an explorer trees, you can view diagrams and zoom into diagrams, view report output. And the advantage there is the output is a website that is quick to look at. You can browse around very quickly. And you can have an infinite amount of people view the architecture, communicate that architecture to a wide group of people for just the cost of the SA Publisher in it. Then you have SAXT, which is the web sister product of System Architect. It's uh, SAXT stands for Extended Team. It's a thin browser client of System Architect and you need a license to come in, either a write license or a read license. But users can come in, view the repository, add to the repository of information, draw diagrams, edit diagrams, add definitions, edit definitions, and ask the architecture questions by running reports that you preloaded in or by using a GUI to build reports on the fly and ask the architecture questions. You're getting live information about the enterprise architecture. There's also an add-in to XT called the Gadget Dashboard, which if you install it, enables you to have personalized dashboards of the architecture so that each user coming in will get a view of the architecture and reports that they have specified to see when they, they go into the architecture. And a fourth way to ask the architecture questions provided by System Architect and its suite is this SABI integration where the table structure of, of System Architect is normalized into uh, an ODS data source which is a SQL Server database wherein every definition type has its own table, is represented by its own table. And every relationship type is represented by its own table. So the three table structure of System Architect where definitions are all stored in an entity table is expanded out so that a, a BI tool can then query the repository easily. And the benefits there is that you can use the BI tool and its uh, reporting mechanisms to query the repository. The output is, uh, is quick and fast but it's not going to be live. So we have customers using this in a, in a smorgasbord with SAXT where they can come in and run reports live against the architecture and then also view some reports that are served up from the SABI integration. And they can run that BI integration on a scheduled basis, sometimes a couple of times a day, in some cases maybe once a day. So this is a block diagram of what the SABI integration looks like. You're uh, generating an ODS data source to SQL Server. You're using the same SQL Server you're using to serve up System Architect encyclopedias. But this will be a special SQL Server database that you then use to query the information in the BI tool. So the SABI integration is a core feature of System Architect. It's available off the start menu under Unicom Systems if you have installed it. It is an optional install. There's an install executable file that comes with the System Architect batch of installs. Once installed, you, you see the SABI integration off this menu, 
it would be SA Cogno schema generator for versions of System Architect before 11.4.8. And I can run it by right mouse clicking and choosing to run as administrator. And you get this uh, dialog for the SABI integrator. And I can select the local server or the server where my System Architect encyclopedias are. And I can select an encyclopedia, in this case JK Enterprises. The second tab enables me to specify where I will create the ODS data source. And so I will choose the same server that my system architect encyclopedias are on, but I'll create a new database. And I'll name it, in this case, JK Enterprises ODS Data Source. That's just an example uh, database name. When I click Generate Schema, it will create that database on my SQL Server. And so it was successfully created, and you can see from this dialog that it's already scheduling itself on the Windows Scheduler. You can change that. You can go into Windows Schedule and change that. But um, the database is created, and now when I click Yes here, I'm going to run the ability to move the information into that database through the Data Retriever tool. And in short order, the data retriever finishes its run and populates the ODS data source with information from the EA repository in normalized form. So before we look at the data in the BI tool, let's take a look in System Architect at what information we'll be looking at. We're using the TOGAF framework and metamodel, and in here we have applications, physical applications that have portfolio information such as their cost. So we're capturing a number of types of cost, including the total cost of ownership, which is a summation of cost information based on the application, its costs, and also the servers it's running on and installed to, and the people involved, etc. So we're going to take a look at these costs and the business services that use or are implemented by those applications. We can run a report in System Architect's native reporting engine, such as the business services to applications with their costs. If we look at that report, you can see you start with business service, get its name, and then go a SQL join lower to get the applications that implement those business services and their total cost of ownership. And if we generate this report, we'll get a grid that enables us to view the output and in some cases you can see a business service has uh, been implemented by a number of applications and their cost and the nice thing about the grid is that you can um, click on any of these cells and, and get right to the information and then also the system architect reporting engine enables us to um, generate the same report to HTML so if I push this button, I'll get this kind of output for business services, applications, and their cost. Now let's go over to the BI tool now and see what that enables us to do. So in this video, we're going to use the Microsoft Power BI desktop, which is available for free download from the Microsoft website. And according to its current stipulations, you can use Power BI for non-commercial use on your desktop. And you'd buy a full-blown Power BI for commercial use on your network. So in Power BI, we will get data. And we will type in the name of our server and ODS data source. Now we have that in our uh, BI integration user interface. Here's our server. And then also here's that data source.
that we named JK Enterprises ODS Data Source. Click OK. And you see every definition type in System Architect is now a separate table in this ODS data source that we can choose from. So at the top here, we're going to choose the definition application component. And then lower down, we'll choose business service. And then below the definition tables, there are relationship tables. So here's the relationship that we want, business service implemented by physical application component. And we'll load those three tables. So these definitions become available on the right-hand side. You can see them listed here, application component, business service, and the link definition and you can see the properties, every property that was in System Architect, including customizable properties that have been put in through user props are here. But we, before we get to that, let's go over to the table view. And you can see here, these are the three tables that we brought over. We have application, business service, and the link table, and the relationship between them. And what we'll do is manage relationships here and create a new link between application component and the relationship table and match on application identity and then create the link between business service and the relationship linking on the business service identity. With that done, you can see the relationships here. And let's go back now to the report view and start with business service. That's the link. Start with business service and get its name. You can see I have a report already with all of the names of the business services. And then let's go up to the application and get the joined application names. All right, and so you can see in here, similar to the other report, that there are some business services that have many applications providing or implementing them. Let's go down now to um, get some more properties of the application. For example, the, um, the cost. So the total cost of ownership. Now, total cost of ownership came over as a text field. So we'll change that to a whole number. That was a float in system architect that came over as a text. But um, with that done, we can choose total cost of ownership and get that across the applications. And now you're in the uh, user interface of the BI tool, and you can get all kinds of visualizations. All right, so here is the, uh, the cost of those apps providing those services, and you can change around your views. All right, so that's the power of the visualizations of the BI tool. We have many choices here. And this is the dashboard with the professional version. You have even more choices. So, uh, so you're in the world of the BI tool and you can query that enterprise architecture information and get rich reports here. If you have questions, please add them to the comments below. And thank you for watching.